I guess it's silly. I think everybody really loves music, but my dad was like a huge musical influence for me. Um, he played a little bit of guitar, but mostly he was just like always really excited about some sort of music, whether he was going through like a reggae phase or, you know, we listened to like a lot of classic country in my house and like really, I like wanted to be Patsy Cline when I was little. I had like a mm. little karaoke machine and um, so a lot of classic country, a lot of reggae. Um, and I, I'm like a huge classic rock nerd. I'm mm. like a 14 year old boy who just got his first electric guitar. <laughs> I'm like, you know, Led Zeppelin's like it for me. Yes. And, um, you know, I, I don't know, I guess that's a lot of it. It doesn't really have much to do with raised, being raised in Florida, but that's right. kind of the musical influences I have. No, that's so cool. And it's funny that you say your dad and that's not weird because on our advance, that's, that's my influence is my dad. And yeah, he's so lucky that, uh, he got to see like the Beatles, the Doors, the Who, Led Zeppelin, like all the greats in their primes. And um, I'm so jealous because I feel like I was born kind of in the wrong time. I would have loved to have grown up and seen seen some of those bands. I uh, know. And he's so cute because uh, with COVID and everything going on, he usually plays at retirement homes for free every week. Oh, my gosh. Uh, he's such a good singer. Him and my sister are really, really great singers. I can't sing with shit, but... Um, I, I think I'm the musician in the family. I can play all instruments really well. Mm-hmm. But uh, my dad and my sister can sing. So during COVID, uh, especially because the nursing homes are hit so hard, he's been doing these Zoom concerts for all oh. the uh, Maryland retirement homes. And it's so cute because I'll go and I'll watch him. Like I get the front row seat. So I'll sit there and watch him as he's doing it. And he loves it. And he 